adina asla walikum gambe yanu ina kepa ko se tansa hal network tv aisha tewa ci ker gede dañ ne good morning show yu ba lu bes be lañ wax nak amna ñuma bokal studio bi dama bay ñom tam ñu nuyu rek su paré ñu lakta dugg ci bir waxtaan bi asla walikum nuyu na wa alaikum salam fenañ la aisha uh, good morning viewers today we are here on the good morning show i am amitelo one of the hosts and on my right we have buba sananjay Yes and on my left we have Omar Diallo. Mungo ni lañ am tay ci bir studio bi dañuy waxtaan day lepp wax lo xamantene dina mëna nek yobalu bes bi dañ koy andi tay ñu mëna waxtaan ak yeen ami lool ñu andil tay. Wow ah fu nek ni nak lu bari lañu discuss tay beginning with uh, social issues and what's on uh, what's trending on social media. Ñaar yu dañ ko combine because I believe that the topic that we are going to talk about today is a combination of both. It's something that is affecting the society and it's also trending on social media. So there has been this video that has been going viral and going round on social media about a Minnesota man that was being assaulted by police. So I would like to just read to you the message that has been going around so that you can get the in-depth information of what this situation is basically about then Aisha will dive more into the situation and explain the concept um the situation and what is going on around in that um video. So the message goes his name is George Floyd. A Minnesota grocery store called the police on him yesterday when they thought he was writing a bad check. He wasn't. MPD officer Derek Chauvin, badge hashtag #1087, along with two other officers, pinned him down to the hard pavement and stuck his knee knee on George's neck until he died. While officer Tao Chu Chao by hashtag #7162 stood by him and did nothing. Minneapolis uh, City Major Jacob Frey just announced four officers have been fired. The FBI is investigating the incident. Over 90,000 people watched George as he died. He was scre- screaming, "I can't breathe," and asking for water too. So Aisha just take us through the video and what do you think about what exactly transpired in this video Wow gis nga ami comme ning ko woné légui ci video bi video bi dafa nek lo xamanténi dafa doy wa parce que société koku nonu nek ñu la mais paré koko nit jël o mam bi suko ko ci batam bi té xam nga né lolu nek comme lu doy wa dafa nek lo doy wa parce que nit ka nga la wax nek ma di nokki Uh-huh. Mais paré nga jël sa oom bi suko ko fa oh. ben séda té yi sa mo rami liggéey katamé di police mu ngi taxaw di sétane lolo nit ñaa ngi wax dimbalé len ko dimbalé len ko ya ngi ko di la ñaan wa dafa doy wa Omar ma wallaay la yow lolo lo ci xalaat ah lolo mo wax digg yalla metti na ñu koy ñaawlu waye li yaaga na am ci adna bi té fu melni dafa doy da gis nga ñi ci ñuuli ñu leen def ci adna bi fu leen ñu leen toroxal té ay nit leen war nañu respect ci son dignité ci son integrité à ce human being ci kaw lolu man mo mun ma ci wax dara xana diko ñaawlu té na suñu autorité ci tamit jëm ci jox ndax fum nañu ci dëriñu leño xol ñu toroxal té warato ñu ngi ci 21st century té century bu nga xamanteni ñu ngi ci ñepp ño em té comme ça tout va ngay human right human right né wara fexé ñu emandor wa waru na gis rek di la toroxal comme xam nga rek ñu ay nit ay nit len daxu ñu dara ñu nak ñom ño bokal school ñu nak mom ño bokal lepp exactly ci kaw lolu nit ni comme ñom la Ligi Buba, can you please tell us something about what you saw on the video? So, uh, what I've seen in the video is very, very touching mm-hmm. and disturbing for me. Mm-hmm. But I am not surprised at all because uh, <coughs> following the history of uh, how the black Americans or African Americans has uh, had been suffering in the United States, mm-hmm. this is not a surprise for me. Mm-hmm. And also, uh, I think there are two sides of the story. This story is twofold. Mm-hmm. One. Uh, there's been a uh, contradiction mm-hmm. in the United States because uh, among other constitutions, uh, the developing countries like the Gambia is looking up to the US constitution mm-hmm. to get motivation and inspiration to draw our own constitutions. Mm-hmm. Uh, because we believe that uh, the US constitution is, the, is a very good affirmative plan of action mm-hmm. that protects the right of everyone in the United States because they have a very diverse cultural, people from different background, political, religious ways. and also uh, there are some racism aspect of it mm-hmm. uh, because uh, if you follow the political history of the united states uh, we can conclude that the racism 
is socially constructed in the minds of even one to three, four, five year old US citizen. Mm -hmm. and, and, and also, uh, this is a gross violation, mm -hmm. human rights violation that is leveled against this uh, African American United States. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, we have seen, some years ago, we have seen uh, the African American movements like the Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. We have seen the very strong three ladies, African American ladies who founded the movement, and the movement has gained a lot of support throughout the the uh, America and African okay. continent and all over the world. Mm -hmm. And also we have seen uh, African Americans and the right defenders all over the world mm -hmm. uh, going on with the slogan, I can breathe, mm -hmm. which was the last words of the, of, of the African American that is killed in the United States. Yeah. I can breathe being an echo on the one on. Why weren't you by some help of Bahaba? Pascal, you know, 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 so I'm right to life do mon am lenen te nit amu dara ñu nga mo dañ ni is more important than human being yalla lum defar rek nit mo fa gën wa tamit nit lum defar xaliss mo gën so guy warun fexé warun nangu nit yi am people are this this am you know having discrimination or they are racist against the black that itself is we we condemn it in totality man even the question that it raises is if it were a white person, mm -hmm. would the situation go down the same Honestly, way that it went down? Yes, that's a question that we really should ask because we have seen that we've been uh, going out uh, campaigning that we need to, like, Black li Lives yeah. Matter. Mm -hmm. And it's something that is ongoing and we're gradually getting to that point. But still, these things are going on. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, sitting back and looking at things that are transpiring. I'm like... Are we joke to like our, our lives joke to people like they should take us seriously mm -hmm. and another thing that we should really look into is like he said the Constitution mm -hmm. in the Constitution there are procedures in how to uh, arrest some someone mm -hmm. how can you take your knee you know the weight of a human a, a person and you take all your weight and you pin someone down not in another body part but one of the most vital body parts which is the neck that is where you basically anything that and also is tied massive, behind, uh, exactly behind. so tied back and the worst part is if the person is even telling you like i can i can get that probably they said they don't want to loosen anything so that he would escape mm -hmm. but the person kept repeating i can't I can breathe. breathe i need I, water. exactly i need water so i i don't think they were taking him seriously mm -hmm. and if it were a white person i think it would definitely be and different. even the other other police officer was also standing there people were trying to help mm -hmm. and he don't even want people to go closer to the man mm -hmm. and, and also uh what we have to talk about here is, is, is the, the drama in this whole scenario. Mm -hmm. Now, he's been killed mm -hmm. by the police. What is next? Exactly. Are we, are, are we optimistic that the justice will be served for him? And because uh, for me, uh, the justice system in the United States is set against the black people. Mm -hmm. The black Amer African Americans yes. yeah. did not get justice in the United States. Mm -hmm. and, and, and also, uh, the, 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 the black people in the United States uh, have not gained any political will from mm -hmm. any government in the United States. For, mm -hmm. for me, that's my opinion. Mm -hmm. Looking at Obama's administration, uh, we've been hailing Obama's administration mm -hmm. for, I mean, be, being there for the black people. When Obama administration came, at least the black people believed that, and we hope that at least now the African Americans in the United States are now of the hood and at least safe from the wolves, that their rights should be respected because Obama is from them. Right? But we have not seen anything systematically done to protect the lives of the black people mm -hmm. in yeah. the United States. You're definitely right. Um, I think I just have to refer you back to China mm -hmm. just a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It happens and people, civil society and organizations start to condemn it. Mm -hmm. But we have the response lately from the governments. And there are still yet governments in Africa that did not even respond. Mm -hmm. Just because of the, we are impartially not independent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And whatsoever has happened, you have asked a question. Mm -hmm. He is dead now. What, ne what next? Mm -hmm. Are you going to take the public to justice? Mm -hmm. 
And what lesson are we going to learn from that? Mm -hmm. Is this going to continue? Because if this, going, if this is allowed to continue, continue, then it is going to create a war. Yeah. yeah. Which, because yeah. you cannot accept people to discriminate you to the extent of killing you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which brings us to the end of this segment. In conclusion, what basically I would like people to look into is that um, will this uproar be maintained? Because we have seen so many countless black lives going in vain where people at the very initial uh, stage of the incident or the situation, mm -hmm. people have this uproar like this one has the hashtag yeah. and everyone is rioting against this. Mm -hmm. But will this be maintained? Because most of the time we just let it for a week or two, then that's it. Will justice be served? That is the question of the day. Yeah, let us just leave it with the people and then the comments below. Oh. Yeah. Let us just say take a break and then come back. Come back, yeah. <laughs> Sahel Music Group, SMG baby, yeah, Mike Squad, Coffee 19. Lili Javan na nyu, Lili Gete na nyu, Lili Cardel na nyu, Lili Sona na nyu, Demal Kuruna. Jamu la nyei saku, wen buyaram bingo tanku. I do MC Bopu Baram Pule Jel Sidu Lai Tagu Magi Jangalen Dawi Waru Feba Dugi Gambi Waru Kulin Napsin Sayi Khatul Mauti Debu Mwanyu Tebu Dogo Juli Jamu Yala Nabwa Dewe Mwale Teru Fagaru Len Bala Feju Khode Ku Len Bala Lakke Raka Su Len Bala Takke Kene Jamu Lanyu Wagu Funyu Dugu Nyok Du Bagu Banda Mek Is Fucking Real Never Take It As A Deal Tenang Jake Lanyu Tej Nadbi Tangi Nyok Di Tej Murum Sarak Adek Tej Lili Jamal Lanyu Lili Gete Lanyu Assalamualaikum <laughs> And welcome back everyone. So the second portion or the second segment of this show would be business profile and this will be spearheaded by Aisado. Aisado, take it away. Yeah. As for me, you know, come now we like in a parallel mass one mass. So so you say they come see all the business profile. I'm na kinya hamen tena jakarlo na on akmam. Bugo wata na mom see all the lor ngam lor la mide. And then he normally do sofas. So aha. Ki dafane ki khale bo ham ne masha Allah. Kula wa hane 24 years la abdo kogom. Wow. Omar Sen. Hara nyu setan ko mom ngam tena jakarlo on akmam. So small program lo yengo. Bulen fata de demlen sahel network TV lo yengu ngen harfu funon full episode of the lo yengu show. Nyu setan ko tenyo wa. Man mo suma jar jamu dega meet na trop sa. Masala. Meet na trop ye. Na hat na dega na. Ye ta jar na jar jar meet sa. Ye. Bo dam ko kum ta mo na janga meet ye. Kum mana mana suma dab ndo nyu dega na. Tugera so suma dab ndo mo jo suma dab ndo so mo si lo hamla ne ko. Wow, guys, my coco is Omar Ahmad Sen. Man, man, I'm Omar. Because Omar is talking about you. You need to find a super you. Rafael, Masha Allah, he is a very young, talented Gambian. So you see, they are meeting. Wow, Ahmad Jambar, Ahmad Jambar. Uh huh. So you see, they see big Gambian. We used to open them the jelly bags. We used to take them. So to talk about them, we have to listen to Ali Rafael. We have to listen to him. 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 We have to listen to him
mom la wax ne bes mom la wax ne c'est la koy ci ngay jot sa sofa bi sa ci nga ko jotté mom dafa né bo ubé sa téléphone né ko né li la bëgg nga défaral lo lay défar ma laaj né ni lan ngeen ci xalaat ci gam ya bi té dégg né ci vidéo bi né nekku di def the business of sofa ke sa tamit dafa dive into the business of bakery which i believe it's a very good inspiration to people young people out there the sky is not your limit it is your starting point so you can basically do more than what you're doing right now so lida i believe it's a very good inspiration to people out there so ngi seene i am only doing one thing you can do more than that come on just aim for that you know glass ceiling and break it and go beyond and above so i believe that diga diga nak amad mom he is a very good inspiration to all young people in the gambia buba what do you think Well, I think uh, Omar has set himself for greatness and uh, Omar's story has definitely added another chapter in the annals of the youth entrepreneurship in this country. Mm -hmm. I was definitely impressed looking at his video and what he's capable of doing. Mm -hmm. uh, from 10 years, uh, 10 years ago, uh, we barely see a young person you know, taking lead in such entrepreneurship. Uh, they've always been uh, apprentices mm -hmm. in those sectors. And it's very hard for them to see young people owning his own mm -hmm. workshop. Mm -hmm. And Umar right there showing us that we the young people, we can do it. Mm -hmm. We just have to set goal and work goal as giving the goal. Mm -hmm. And we will get to our dream land. Mm -hmm. So I'm proud of him. And, and, and yeah. forget about uh, the matric. Oh, yeah. 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 Wow, yeah. 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 Exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely... Take um, it for you. Take it for you. Take it for you. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I am definitely I definitely appreciate it but it's not a surprise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Gambia that we belongs to here, we have very talented youths, mm -hmm. very delicate ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. The few uh, the, the, the little that we lack is encouragement and motivation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are the type of youth that we should help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was this is Gambian made product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And w so long as it's a Gambian made product, mm -hmm. we should give it a priority. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever they earn from their work, they give it back to the society. Mm -hmm. And exactly. this is national development. Mm -hmm. And I think this is where the government should pump in money yeah. mm -hmm. to make sure they create employment, making sure that people live up to standard, a healthy and quality life. Yeah. And Ahmad definitely is doing a great job. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy, I should also congratulate you for mm -hmm. showing those people exactly. because these are the people That's that right. you should show so, than yeah. to start bringing conflict or other issues. Why, why, how much time it's all come as a simagi, the muji hale, can you hale? Aha, exactly. If you're going to hale, then simagi, if you're going to pass, can you know, that we leg in your neck, come again, like so. Mungo Glola and the Lonti Walu business for the other And another thing, I think uh, there has been an established rhetoric around this issue mm -hmm. that uh, so you know, Gambia, do they not uh, realize a potential? Mm -hmm. And uh, like I used to argue that, you know, if I was born in the United States, I would have been a very great actor or a basketball player because I'm tall, you know. But now I've seen my friend from high school. I attended Senegal in high school mm -hmm. with my friend uh, Palamin. Uh, we started basketball together, but I was not very serious with him. Mm -hmm. And he took it seriously. Now he's going continental. Mm -hmm. And who knows, next May he can be international. But why you tell me young in the jail? What be mama like a sabo? I'm not a young in what I can. But that brings us to the You are also a talented girl. You have a talent. Exactly. And so many people are looking up to you. What is not important is to be. Become lazy and mm -hmm. dormant. So yeah. I'm breaking dormant. barriers. Yeah. Always <laughs> accept Definitely. failing, but never accept not to try. So mm -hmm. you better always say always congratulations to you. Try. Yeah, like it's like they said. If you dive into something or you invest in something, you're going to learn. You're going to even achieve. You're going to achieve it, or you're going to learn from it. You will never lose anything. Well, okay. If you fail, that means you're learning. So that brings us to the end of the second segment, and we're going to be moving on to the third uh, segment. Stay tuned. Coronavirus is a serious and deadly disease affecting the entire world. Gambia continues to register more positive cases. Do not wash your hands with stagnant water.
make sure you wash your hands with running water. Avoid social gatherings, naming ceremonies, and weddings. Avoid eating from the same bowl. Practice social distancing. To protect yourself and your family, and to stop the spread of coronavirus, stay at home. the third segment of today's show which is women and youth issues so I am uh, basically somebody that is very passionate about everything that has to do with women and children and youth uh, most especially so today's topic that I'm going to be introducing to uh, to you guys mm -hmm. is uh, women empowering other women we see that this has been an onset situation between women. Like, it is very abnormal for communion, we are working together and all of that. Because one thing that people believe is, society has always put women against each other in a very unhealthy way. Like, it doesn't even make sense, the competition that they put them into each other. And Minalane, okay, that must start business. Ni. Then instead of jigen, you know what? Jigen more opa, more opa see population. For wow. example, uh, Gambia Bureau of Statistics, you know, one million one hundred and seventy-seven thousand five hundred people of the population of the Gambia are female. Mm -hmm. So you imagine that you start a business, and the the bigger part of the population neko in that is support. Mm -hmm. Who will support you? Like some business, we will not thrive. So b basically, the whole topic we might want we need to talk about this because yeah. inside every woman, we have these trivial issues that we look into each other, and I, I believe this is not something that we should look into. Something that is real is that women are not going to I was able to get away because because yeah, man, for me, I'm very cool with uh, women's rights. Uh, the only problem I have with the narrative that has been reported or argued by the radical feminist uh, that uh, women have been suppressed by men throughout the history, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I think uh, that's not a very accurate, that's not an accurate account of the history uh, if you follow <coughs> the history. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, we have seen very decent men and women who team up and partner up to make life very mm -hmm. easy for, for both gender. And uh, we have seen women taking part in the socio-economical <coughs> landscape of this country and throughout the world. So uh, men should not be set against women, and mm -hmm. you know. Exactly. But uh, and we have seen the women oppressing women in this country, and throughout the world. So that's what we need to focus on. And you know, women to women stuff like, You know, you talk about mm -hmm. the Lego like, yeah. you know, again, because we are not competitors. Mm -hmm. You are not only competing with uh, with each other, but you are not a competitor with men, and also you are not competing within each other. Yeah. So you have to be there for each other, support each other, like how decent men are supporting women. 
Exactly. Yeah, you, you are right. But so I, I, I those men who are not what are they doing? I just put it banana. I will definitely disagree with you, Boba. Mm -hmm. uh, if you realize how the status quo is, mm -hmm. yeah. there is mm -hmm. really discrimination against mm -hmm. women. Mm -hmm. And that is why we have laws that will guarantee and protect them. them. Exactly. If there are no form of discrimination, then such laws will not be in place. Mm -hmm. And let me just give an example. If you have children, mm -hmm. and then you have a girl and a boy, baby boy and a baby girl, mm -hmm. uh, what you will do is, most of the time, you buy, you know, like you buy a gun or a car for your baby boy and now you used uh, you buy domestic issues domestic materials for your baby girl for what because that is the notion you have that when your uh, baby boy grow grown up he will be like a minister but this one will go to the chicken <laughs> and cook yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that alone, uh, that right. alone mm -hmm. you have the mentality that uh, you have the mentality ladies the first thing they have to be suppressed. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No, 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 no. For me, I think uh, you, you, you don't get you don't, you don't get this. Uh, what happened is uh, you talk. Firstly, you talk about the laws. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, this whole women right issue and laws around women issue started in the 1960s yes. after the World War II. Yes. Uh, after the or during the World War II, we have seen uh, the destruction of many men. Men were taken to the wars, right? And some women were used as a substitute for men in the factories. So when men return from the wars, they've seen that the women are now coping with the, with, 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 with the job in the factories, mm -hmm. right? So they keep women. But you have to understand that uh, the reason why women were not in the front or they were not uh, competing equal, equally with the men in the socio-economical landscape of the, of the war was the fact that uh, women were kind of trapped in, in their biological circle, reproductive circle, because you know they the new umba, umba. Wow. for some time, I'm a sun umbe for new Jordan uh, some time you know. So Mr. Bachelli, if Mr. Bachelli need a two 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 uh, two staff right now, he interview man and a woman, you know. He's a businessman. He have to look at you know who's gonna be me right for for long time. Who who's gonna work for the company for long hours right? And if he select me, you can call it a discrimination. It's right? definitely discrimination. Yes, but, yes, but, but, but that, that's a strategy yeah. for that. That has been corrected. Uh -huh. That has been corrected. Uh -huh. What happened is, uh, after the World War II, we see that that's a discrimination. So what happened throughout the world is the biological revolution by the women. You know, we've seen the introduction and invention of the, you know, birth control pills, you know, and stuff. So why now, why, so wait, why, no, wait, 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 no, just a minute. Now we've seen a, <laughs> an, an equal competition with men and women. In the political landscape, women are running for president, women are running for, and it was not the case. And that has been catered for now. How many do you see? At the moment, no. And, okay. No, <laughs> exactly. no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. That has to do with or the gender roles. And, and no, you talk, about, you talk about the gender roles, come, who does what? And for me, that's not, that's not, that's not the social construct for me. Come, a boy should be sweeping, a boy should be a hunter, and blah, blah, blah. For me, I think th this is a social game. Right? I'm a guy and I believe that, okay, if I go and hunt for my family, I can bring, if I go to hunting, I can bring something for my family, right? So that's what I'm going to use to maneuver, you know, the, 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 the obstacles in my life to make something for me and my family. And I'm a woman, now for me, let me just be home sweeping and taking care of my, my husband. Oh, no, no, gabba, gabba, gabba. So I think these are social goals. It's not, it's not a discrimination. These are just social games that people, both men and women, use to maneuver. Yes, uh, but, and make but, a living. But what, what women are advocating for, mm -hmm. it's not about equality. It's about um, social, mm -hmm. economic, and, and fair treatment. Yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And that is, all, that is not what is happening. Political rally, majority of the people that form it are used and women. Mm -hmm. But in the Gambia, how many women have been elected through political office? Few. Mm -hmm. In fact, our government recently, mm -hmm. all the, the, the governors, most of them are women. Mm -hmm. But how many ministers did he have? Did he have? Few. Few. So that's just to show the level of deprivation that the, the, the women are going up through. And it is me and you that should uplift that standard. Mm -hmm. So long as uh -huh. a requirement is met, and they, they, they fall within the category of that requirement, they should be given opportunity. Mm -hmm. I am not an advocate for women's rights or men's rights. I am just an advocate for natural justice. Exactly. Okay, so just, just, just to clear that, uh, uh, what are you thinking about? No, you should no, no, leave no, us no, also no, to no, say no, our no, opinion. No, 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 no,
you know, bad to uh, participate in politics just because of yeah, some certain there are certain uh, cultural issues around it. Uh, women, how many women politicians who come again? How many? How many? Come down our city, how many? Come saga, have you come? Women, most women are not strong to take certain 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 things, right? Do, what do you use? Not strong. I mean, certain women. <laughs> Com that's the cultural that's the norm. notion that people have. Not that's, strong. That's what I'm saying. And but now, you. but now mm -hmm. there are laws in place that you are a law student that every political party should have a, a quota system that 30 percent of your representatives should be women, which is cool. So it's, 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 it depends, and it's left to women whether they will come or. What is the average percentage of 100? Is it not 50? So if you are giving them 30 percent, it means still there's well, a room well. for improvement. I mean, that is at least. That, that's an ultimatum. It's, it doesn't mean it should be limited to that. I, I think what they should have do better. They are saying at least to, to, to create equality and fairness. Exactly. So is to say 50% of the uh -huh. people within the political party, this should hold office should be men or should be women. Mm -hmm. This has been but a very big topic. If, <laughs> if it is 30%, it means 70% yeah. of, yeah. of, of, yeah. of the people that hold positions should be men. And remember, uh, we are only less than 35% of yeah, the population. Yeah. We will, we will definitely And they're uh, equally responsible, this. just like us. Mm -hmm. so so Ami and, and Buba, you were talking, talking, talking. You don't allow us to talk. talk we now. will talk. Gis me and Sibir Kalas, and you jang us a jigen yale for Opa. Exactly. So, I mean, gis me and Dekam and Widam Kanam, so jigen yale Opa, gis ulo legi gache ngala, masa banju legi mayo bisa jigen la. Santa yala. And the vice president is a jigen. Thank you very much. I knew that this would be a hit topic. That's why I brought it to the platform. This has gone from straight from women empowerment to to discrimination in women so I think that this is a very important topic that we I decided to bring up so mm -hmm. that we'll be able to talk about it mm -hmm. so the advice I have for women out there is if you don't want all the discrimination that has been said in this platform start empowering yourself don't wait for men to empower you mm -hmm. when we start empowering each other then we so we, when we start empowering mm -hmm. each other mm -hmm. we will as your office, exactly. you as your office <laughs> you get, you get, until then stay tuned we will go on into another segment of the show. <laughs> and <laughs> welcome back, everyone. Mm -hmm. So we are diving into another segment of the show, which is politics. And this will be spearheaded by Buba. Buba, Buba take it away. Welcome to the political show. Uh, <laughs> we have seen the European Union uh, compelling the Ghana government to lift the illegal ban, according to the illegal ban on LGBT rights. And, uh, appealing to the government to make so that the rights of the LGBT citizens are protected and respected by the Gambia government. And also we have seen how the political parties reacted to this. The major opposition political party, UDP, the GDC, and the other political parties reacted against the decision or the statement of the EU. Whereas uh, we have seen only one opposition political party who did not publicly condemn the EU statement, which is Citizens Alliance. And uh, critics argue that they are pro LGBT yes. citizens. But there are words on social media from the Citizens Alliance officials that they do not in any way publicly acknowledge the statement of the EU and they are not uh, promoting the right of LGBT citizens. This is not an official statement, though. this is just a rumor mill on social media. And today, on Tuesday, we have seen the Ministry of Foreign Affairs coming up, or they came up with a statement denouncing the statement of the EU. So the lesson that I've learned from this is that you now the power is still with the citizens. We can <laughs> decide what we want and we have to show the Gambia government and we have shown the Gambia government that whatever we are going to do must reflect our values, norms and identity. Exactly. exactly. I think I, I also saw similar thing like that in a video form. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I could learn from that is that in any democratic dispensation, mm -hmm. exactly. As the European Union is claiming that the Ghana is a democratic state. Mm -hmm. But to me, on my own personal observation, is that if democracy means man to man married, or girl to girl married, or you have transgender, then let us forego democracy and go into dictatorship. Because we cannot assume any principle of leadership or governance that will tamper our religious belief, our ethics, and our values. I will, I will have to disagree with you on that point because. 
if uh, government, like you said, if, if our government is a, a democratic, uh, is a go democratic government, mm -hmm. most definitely we would allow these people to exercise their sexuality. Mm -hmm. But if we are not willing to accept that we should change to a dictatorial form of government, mm -hmm. which I completely disagree with, because people are obliged or they, are, they have their own affiliations and they want to exercise certain things. So since we have been going around saying Gambia is a democratic state, Gambia is a democratic state, I don't discriminate at all. I know we have our religious beliefs, I know we have our norms, our values and our, our, and our customs. But if one of those people that are you know, practicing these norms and values and uh, customs, they believe that they have a sexuality that they want to exercise and the same people that they we are fighting with are not fighting with them, they will feel left out. So I think this is definitely minority discrimination. The so say this, ah, I'm not used to open hand in Sahel democracy. Exactly. Then you dig a tour, be ready. Well, the cabinet democracy, nila. Well, the woman neh, well, the woman neh def. Then I guess nita simbe ada be mudef lukone. Gana kone wa yoli akli muna democracy. Ha. Then you hamu la sahel democracy. Exactly. But in my in my personal opinion, ah, whatever one chooses to do with your life, it's fine. As far as you are not infringing upon the rights of another person. Mm -hmm. So if someone wants to express or leave out his or her sexuality, mm -hmm. I believe that most definitely you buy it correct because this customs and tradition and all of that, yes, they are here. Mm -hmm. But if you want to make sure that everything that we do is surrounded around this, doing them fan. Like you said, we have to grow with the world that is growing. So I believe that's my personal opinion. And I don't well, know also, what you guys uh, also, think. Also, this is my so I have to I'm the moderator, right? <laughs> if you want to talk, signal me. Yes. Okay, and uh, uh -huh. I am for LGBT. I believe in the right of the LGBT. That's a statement. Right, okay. Uh, yeah. and, and for me, uh, the elementary idea of understanding democracy is giving people what they deserve. Because we don't need to go to Aristotle or Socrates to know that justice means giving people what they sincerely deserve. Mm -hmm. And also, for me, uh, public discourses like uh, LGBT rights, uh, should not be, oh, 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 what is good life? Cannot be defined by what our norms and our values are in a democratic state. For example, uh, let's talk about Gambia being a state, a sovereign state, sovereign democratic state, for example. Uh, I think uh, the Gambia's government or the, the, the Gambia as a state do not have any authority, any business to decide for me who I want to marry. Hmm? The state, I mean, the state has no authority. Mm. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 wait, no, wait, wait. No. I, 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 let, let, let me learn, let me learn. Yes, I'm, yes. I'm not going well, to Well, if we allow you to talk, we won't talk again. Okay, no, I'm just, okay, now, uh, no. for, for me, for me, uh, the, 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 the marriage, religious affairs should be, marriage should be left with the churches and the, the mosque, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The state cannot decide for me who I want to marry. Mm -hmm. Or for people that are not religious, for, uh, the yeah. atheists, yeah. Right, because for me, uh, if I'm a citizen of this country and mm -hmm. I don't belong to any religion, so no. what are your basis of objection to LGBT guys? You know, I, I am trying to quote democracy because the European Union, mm -hmm. one of the missions that they have on the Gambia is to make sure Gambia mm -hmm. evoke from dictatorship to democracy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And their belief is that whensoever your country is a democratic state, mm -hmm. you assume the responsibility of fundamental human rights on the democracy. Mm -hmm. Now, my question is, if we are going to assume the responsibility and fundamental human rights on the democracy. Should that warrant us to set away from our religious belief that we are here in existence since the Gambia is Gambia, even before the Gambia is Gambia, are we going to have our, our, our um, values or our custom and our social belief? You are right to say the government should not or cannot determine whom you should marry. But Mali is clearly spelled out. Two people of full age with consent, man and a woman. Mm -hmm. But you know our, our laws can be changed. So we not, I, I am not part of the people that will advocate in any form that will disregard my religion. Mm -hmm. That will disregard the culture, the beautiful culture that I have before. Since I was not born, till date, the, the culture remains to be the good culture. And it is the culture of best practice, where you found people sitting you greet them. And if you look at homosexuality and other things, they are unnatural offences. Exactly. But, 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 they are unnatural that in the sense that, that if, that if agree they were with. encouraged, then perhaps I may not be here. Yeah, and you may not be here an today. extinction of okay, the human okay, race okay, because okay, you okay, will okay, not let, be let me, let me get there, shortly, just a minute. And about that, I think... Uh, you always get there. So no, I think, uh, I, I, I think the religious 
the fundamentalist and the social fundamentalist, mm -hmm. which you are, uh, which you characterize. I just embarrassed about the the self determinism. This is That's about humanity. No, it's no longer really useful. Yeah, it's or about even and, yeah. and social. That no, but, but, but your points, your yeah. points, your basis of objection is about the social issues of, of norms. That makes you social and fundamentalist. And that's what makes our country the Gambia. Good. We, and that's okay, what good. makes citizens. If we can, that's why I agree with that. If we can continue to produce people that will take part in the uh, government but affairs the point, and all of that, the, the point LGBTQ is, the point, is the point not is, going to give it to the, us. The point is, uh, I am I'm driven by self-determinism, right? Uh, who cares if I die, the, the world will continue or the, world, the human life will extinct? Do I care about that? Do As you? individual, Do if I don't you? care, so what? Well, no, you should care. You know, you know, you know. The, 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 so that cannot be a base of objection. Human of development. Right. Human development Devel is essential. It's of public interest, mm -hmm. and human capital is also is of public interest. Mm -hmm. So where we have homosexuals, we will not it is no longer produce. a public interest. Mm -hmm. It is unnatural. So are you going to argue that uh, the laws of the Gambia should not protect the right of the Gambia LGBT citizen? No, I am not saying the laws of the Gambia should not protect the right of the gay. The laws of the Gambia should protect human rights, but the laws of the Gambia should not protect any right that will be in conflict with the existing laws, that will be in conflict with our religious belief, that will be in conflict with our ethics and our value as Gambians. For me, I don't mind the That's ethics and our values. values. We can Get go, go against there. it at, at, uh, all the time. But what you've brought onto the table is the existence of human beings. How human beings, how we, if we go into this phase, we might probably face extinction because now we are not reproducing. A man and a man cannot reproduce a child. Mm -hmm. A woman and a woman cannot reproduce a child. So that part I agree with you. But when it comes to traditions and customs and all of that and beliefs, I believe we should leave it out because if those people were once religious and those people were once uh, walking towards, you know, accepting their tradition and all of that. So if they are here trying to practice their sexuality, I think they should go ahead. But if they also do that, it's going to go be very unnatural and then we will not be able to produce more. I, mean, I agree with I you. Mean, is that what I want to ask? Is that accepted in the Gambia? What? The LGBTQ? LGBTQ. According, according, according to the criminal court, it's, it's, it's illegal. And if you are found doing uh, gay stuff, you can, you can be jailed in this mm. country. Which, this is why the EU is saying such bans should be lifted on the LGBT citizens. And for the record, for me, I believe that the LGBT citizens of this country should be given a monthly or at least a medical checkup by the government and the law should prove, uh, secure that the LGBT mm -hmm. citizens of this country should be allowed, <laughs> they should be allowed, should be allowed, you know, even to to live in the kid. Do you know most of these rights? This huh? is a very... Generally, generally, rights mm -hmm. are inhalable. So whenever you are born, you are born with such rights. Mm -hmm. yeah. But there are rights that come through presumption and assumption. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a very Since interesting Since the Gambia is in existence, mm -hmm. people were here and they are living in coexistence with peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have never had where people advocates for let's allow our ladies to marry each other. And this should not be even a big issue. We can at least solve this without like you against and for the motion as if we are debating. I mean, <laughs> this has been a very heated debate that was brought on to this table by uh, Booba. This is pro and anti. And we will continue this debate in our com comment section down below until uh, we will be moving on to another segment and stay tuned. Jangoro Bigno wah coronavirus dafare te dafour aduna. Rewi Gambia amnen nyu es nyo hamne jangoro bi dalnalen. Bulra hasaloho at noh butilim. Nanga fecheba boy raha saloho mune kundo bo ham ne munge dau nga andele kok sabu teip di jonji saloho luto luchi nyarfu ki sekon nange muitu ainda je yumel nit ngente ak tak
na ngeen moy tuddu lek ndo ci ben bol na ngeen gor gor lu ci sori wante aral sa bop te ar say njabot ngir bañ jangoro gi tasaro toglen seni keri Another segment that we will be diving into, which is current affairs, which will be spearheaded by our gentlemen right here, Buba and Omar. Take it away, guys. Great. Welcome back to another edition of the morning show. Uh, we are going to talk about the current <laughs> issue. Another segment. <laughs> another segment. Okay, another segment. Uh, this is about the new constitution. We have questions about the new constitution. People are asking whether the new constitution is going to be successful. Mm -hmm. Because I think uh, this question was inspired by the statement of the cabinet, Barrow's cabinet. Uh, Barrow's political advisor went to a newspaper and said uh, the new constitution is a discrimination against President Barrow. And uh, what we are going to discuss here is about uh, for me, President Barrow do not have a very smart, strategic political advisors. Because uh, as, as, as a government, how can a government spokesperson or a political advisor of the government come out and tell people that the new constitution has discriminated a government? We have a question there. Does Barrow government thinks that or believe that this new constitution should favor them? Right? Because semantics matters in politics. The way you communicate, the words that you use in your co political communication matters, right? So, but do we think there will be a political will from the government mm -hmm. in order to pass this draft constitution? Yeah, I, I but, think... But it, before, before we, we go further, uh, Omar, please mm -hmm. tell some of the viewers whom are watching, mm -hmm. what is constitution? Because some will be like, constitution, constitution, and they don't know what is constitution yes. mm -hmm. before we enter that. So, just to make it very clear, constitution mm -hmm. is not a child play game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the draft itself, which is not yet a condition, is not also a child play game. Mm -hmm. So just to make things straight, mm -hmm. the president and his people, power belongs to the people. Mm -hmm. And so long as power belongs to the people, the president is elected by the people. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the draft condition, we have consultation that was done, mm -hmm. and they have a mandate. And the mandate is to share the opinion of the people. Mm -hmm. And it is the opinion of the people that reflect in the draft condition. So at no point they cannot claim it is not favorable. Even if they are, it is not favorable to them, I think it is their own detriment. Yeah. And you have asked a very important question. Sometimes people um, confuse what is the condition and other laws of the Gambia. Yeah. There is what we call the condition, there is Act of National Assembly, there is Common Law, Principle of Equity, Customary Law, customary law yeah. Sharia Law. But condition basically means the law that governs how the state operates. It separates the three organs of the state, how they operate only. Yeah. Govern how the people operate and how the three organs of the state operate. Now how it operates, that will, they will have statutory provisions like the, the Women's Act, the, 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 the uh, Children's, Children's Act, Act yeah. you know, the National Assembly Act on proceedings and other stuff. Mm -hmm. But the law is the parental body. Mm -hmm. It's only the backbone that are here, the, the bones, but the flesh will be part in statutory provisions. Yes. Okay. Good. Yeah. And also, uh, we, or oh, I have a fear mm -hmm. uh, for the fact that we have seen uh, the executive secretary of the CRC, how he's been selected. Mm -hmm. We know for a fact that he's been handpicked by a senior chief justice. You know, he's kind of, you know, he's, he's the boy boy to the justice minister, <laughs> uh, the chief justice. And we've, not, we've seen their relationship with the government. Uh, we are not sure whether they are going to be very firm and strong with the government in a case if the government wanted to make an alteration in the new constitution. Although, I know that the citizens are all worked up right now. We are all looking for the next step of the, of, of the, of the government. But do you think uh, this new constitution is 
already a seal against the state means we are protected by the states and also whether what we have seen in 2016 what president jame has there has done mm. he, he 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 kind of uh, subvert the body of the people and what the president what president Bauer is doing right now on his cabinet is to subvert the will of the people because the constitution will give the will of the people so do you think the referendum will be Will, will be held if there's a if there's a alteration do you think the people will will, will go to the polls to, to to vote for the constitution yeah definitely they will you know this constitution has make it very open i think the drafters and even this constitution is in democratic way mm -hmm. it's either the president take it to the national assembly mm -hmm. or it is passed through a private membership bill mm -hmm. a member of a national assembly can volunteer and take the draft constitution under the national assembly mm -hmm. so at no point it's not whether it is possible, it's how are we going to do it, there, but there are possibilities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Draft constitution, there are possibilities that before 2021, we'll go through a referendum. And the rest are short. Mm -hmm. uh, the draft constitution is far more fine than the 1997 constitution, we do respect. Because if you look at the adjustment, there are provisions of the draft constitution that have never been expressly or impliedly stated into the 1997 constitution. And they, feel, uh, and they have so the, uh, aspira the aspiration and the, the reality of what Gambians need. Like for instance, time limit. The Gambia has passed through a historical record yeah. of, of tyranny, of dictatorship, of self public creating rule. But the Gambians, the, the, the mindset of the Gambians is no longer having a person that will be in power forever. But there's a drama going on right now. The president said the time limit should not start from his default start. It should start after the So yeah, this one that's should be what bonus. And this is exactly what I wanted to speak yeah. on. I am I'm, I'm just going to put my <laughs> little don't laugh thought we should put that in our mind. <laughs> so this from, from this. So what, what, what do you think of that? Yeah, my thought yes. and uh, the, the, opinion the, on it. The, that is just about principles. Hmm. Is they're talking about the prospective effects of law mm -hmm. and prospective effect of law. There are certain laws they only have effects at the time in which they are enacted mm -hmm. as laws. Mm -hmm. But there are other laws that will even guarantee something that was not here before. Um, if they claim that is to be reprospective effects, mm -hmm. and that's what the Office of the President is claiming, his cabinet ministers, they're saying that uh, the draft council will come into an effect at the time in which it is approved through a referendum, mm -hmm. not before it was yet to be born. But they fail to read the provision of this condition. This condition has guaranteed Whosoever has acquired citizenship before mm -hmm. to maintain your same status. Mm -hmm. That technically so there are the prospective provisions, mm -hmm. which is not even in contradiction with law. But for good practice, lawyers they always or laws always assume to have prospective effects. But when so every government's people determine, you know there were co correctioners. There were correction that was circulated to the people. And through the consultation, they were asked. Do you want the present term to start? In this, do you want this draft condition to cover the present term, or do you want it to start at the time it was enacted? And majority of the government's people decide on that. And just to refer on other countries, we have conflict in Africa when it comes to term, term limit, term, term. Mm -hmm. Most of these presidents, when they are enacting laws, they did not indicate the term in which they were act enacting. Mm -hmm. And that creates violence. Because the people will react. It, it can lead to public disorder. Yeah. Public dis disorder, which is, not in, uh, which is detrimental to the state and detrimental to the peace of this country. So, so long as this condition is concerned, it's mm -hmm. a perfect docu document. The new one? The new one. Mm -hmm. Even this one is a perfect document. Mm -hmm. It is just that it has certain loopholes that need to be fixed, but they are yet to be there. Mm -hmm. And but, even but apart from, let me just come yeah. in, even apart from creating or promoting public disorder, yeah. it's also going to create dictatorship. Mm -hmm. Because a constitution mm -hmm. that doesn't state the time limit, people like people in power are going to stay there as long as they want to stay in power because it's not being said. And also the question that he raised in the beginning mm -hmm. is, should the time limit or should anything in the constitution be favorable to the office or the person in power. And I believe this is the reason why uh, Barra's cabinet came up with this, because they believe that there are certain things in the constitution, the draft constitution, that is discriminatory. But my question is, 
the draft constitution went through a process. They set up a commission where the uh, constitutional review commission where they went around and got the opinion of people. So the constitution is there to protect the rights of the people and the opinions of the people are what is inside the constitution. So I don't think the constitution will, should be favorable to uh, the person in power or the office in power. It should be favorable to the people because the people took that decision and were given the right by the constitution and they gave in their input. So I believe um, the cab Boris cabinet shouldn't have brought up that conversation. It's just defying the fact that they don't know that the Gambia is run by the people. Yeah, and my concern, is, uh -huh. my concern is the, the politics in it because uh, I'm not a constitution expert and I don't claim to be one. But one thing that I know for certain is the fact that law and politics are intertwined. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, we have seen a lot of good constitutions, even the 1997 constitution is a good one. And the draft is a fairly good constitution. Mm -hmm. But there's a drum in every constitution in this world. We talk about the US constitution, you know, which is a pretty good one according to the provisions in it. But what's the drum? Are they acting in accordance with the provisions of the constitution? So now, we have seen how Jabi solve this constitution. You know, but the, th the thing is, uh, do we have provisions? or entering clause in this constitution that protect us, that, uh, that, that, that as, will, will assure us that the president can never come and violate the citizens, and that the powers of the president are limited. Do you think the powers of the president are limited in the new, in, 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 uh, comparing to the old constitution? Yeah. Well, and Both, what I uh, want to know is uh, who normally write this constitution before it is approved? Yes, um, a commission will be set. And the commission will be drafters. They will draft a constitution. Is it then, is it the president that will set the uh, commission or the citizens? Yeah, the, the, it is the chief justice that will chair the commission or appoint a person to chair it. Okay, okay. So it is under the minister of justice with the office of the president to chair that, to, to, to have the team being set. Mm -hmm. But um, so long as the Gambia constitution is concerned, the 1997 constitution and the draft constitution, the rest are short. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No matter how beautiful laws are political commitment is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And that is the degree of commitment by the executive and the government institution in executing their constitutional mandate in good faith. Mm -hmm. And in, in, in our draft constitution and the 1997 constitution, it have give the right, in fact, look at the right to access to information. Do you know if people have the right to access to information, most of these things that are happening that people are hearing about rumors will not happen. Mm -hmm. And do you know that people are powerful? The power belongs to the people, naturally. And in, ev in every democratic state, power belongs to the people. Yeah. And the constitution have given enough power to the people, enough power to the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know that one of the content Which are still the people. Of, of in mm -hmm. in, uh, yeah. to impeach the president is about if he failed on his out of office or violated the provision of this constitution. But Mr. Constitutional mm -hmm. Expert, uh, I just have, I just have, I, I, just, I just have, I just have, I just have, I just have a concern here. He said here. he is not, he is Omar, so say Omar. I, I apologize. Yeah. Uh, I just have a concern. Uh, we have seen the introduction of the uh, free Freedom of Information Bill by the executive, and we say congratulations to the government. Mm -hmm. But now, what we have to look at here is uh, whether there will be a, the will from the government to, to, to give or to throw the information, the essential information at citizens. And also, we have seen uh, the, in the new constitution, they assure us that there will be an establishment of the Anti-Corruption Commission. And luckily, or uh, fortunately, I was part of those who reviewed that bill with National Assembly members and the CSRs. But uh, there's a lot of loopholes in that, in, in that bill. And but how many people are aware of these things, right? For example, about access to information. Uh, if you, that's a perfect scenario right now, drama right now. Uh, we, 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 that, there are rumor mills that uh, there's a deep corruption going at the Ministry of Health right now. But do we see any staff from the Ministry of Health coming straight, being a whistleblower? No. We only see the minister who came out and acted the whistleblower wrong. Mm -hmm. Because he, 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 he is probably a sword that he's not going to, nobody, no, no staff can fire him. And he could get the backing of the government because the government might see that this guy is trying to, you know, so the people that it's not the central government as people argue, it's not the finance minister as people butcher him on social media, it's even the staff in the ministry, right? So, uh, and in the anti corruption bill, uh, the whistleblowers should be protected 
As we see in, 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 in South Africa and other places. And for in example, this situation, Buba, mm -hmm. the whistleblower is being accused of doing the same thing that he is accusing of other people. So I, I don't think he should be protected uh, most uh, definitely. And that's, yeah. and that's what should, we should have active and vibrant civil society. And do not wait for someone to blow the whistle um, on you before because, you. Because, because if you knew that the minister has been uh, in corruption and he has been working he has basically been diving into corruption you should definitely come in and say before uh, you you tell it to the people before he blows the whistle on you mm -hmm. so i don't see the reason why people waited until he blew the whistle before no. they could come back and i, I think i think they have, the all, they have only seen the, 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 reason, point. the reason is they can remain quiet mm -hmm. but if you have the right to access to information if they fail to give you information you should them to court but, but, but so have the law in place first mm -hmm. because if you do not have the laws in place you cannot claim it as mm -hmm. your right yeah, but, so but the, the point is just pray for the best. The draft one is adopted, then you have the law in place, then you can approach them. Yeah, but there's but no the public or civil servant or private sector that is registered under the Company Act, it's now under the public domain. Or a civil servant or a public servant, where you have an information that is not detrimental to the state, and he keep quiet. Uh, yeah. But Mr. Diallo, uh, it's, it's, it's very sexy and romantic, you know. You know, to tell us that, yeah, you know, we now have access to information bill free, but how pragmatic are you about, how serious are you about this? For example, uh, if I work for uh, State House, Office of the President, mm -hmm. and that's a corruption, I might be bold enough to come out and say it, but I need to secure my job, where right? I can give the, uh, this information to the journalists to publish it. Mm -hmm. But if I am, if, if it is noticed that I give this information, I can be sad. So there must be a security for the whistleblowers in their job. Mm -hmm. And also for me, I think there should be a very beautiful and handsome for the people. They should be, they should be compensated for blowing the whistle. No, it, it does and not, they should be protected. It does not work like that in any organization. That is what they call PR. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about the owners. I'm saying government. We have seen this in the different parts of the world. Whistleblowers have been protected and been compensated. Yeah, they should. But, but it is not how you presume it to be. Uh, it's not just you are a staff yeah. of the, 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 the National Intelligence Agency. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you should give you information. It's, it does not work like that. Mm -hmm. In any organization, there is PRO. Yeah. And his responsibility is to make sure he discriminates information between him and the public. Mm -hmm. If you need any information, he is the right person to go into. To work. Because okay, there that, is, again, there is a code of conduct. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. no. The, what we are talking about here is the anti-corruption bill. Buba. The, you the, the, can commission, the commission is empowered by the government. The Guys, no, no, we will continue let this conversation in our comment section below. Please join in on the debate so that we can know what your opinions are. This brings us to another, the end of another very important conversation and we would definitely love to hear your opinions on it. We'll be moving on to another segment and stay tuned. Coronavirus ke takura nga me yalong ko aka mo fa kele kuran jawba anung abe dunia be konon gambe hani kabi tenten taleka mol soto hani kabi menul yalong ko nyung kuran be balo konon alkana al buloku jio me yalong ko abe lorin na abu kabori kaka tan kambulol ku jome yalon ko akaborile anu safu no fana kalimbulo ku wala baki alin kaka ta nkaka li domoro ke boli ke lengoko no alin kaka ta ka jamfa nyola membe ko ko nyin kuliyol nin nyin futu siti kuwal Nsakata mbe jamfala nyola nyameng no wo fanan sabatin Nsakata pour kam fangolu tanka anina dimbayal pour ka nyin kurango ka bay ayita al ngasi na suol kon
welcome back viewers so this brings us to the last segment of the morning show banju and this segment is legal issues which, which will be spearheaded by omar omar what do you have for us today yeah i have today for you is um when it comes to when a person is arrested mm -hmm. okay. you know normally people um remember the laws when they are in problem mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's the time you see the beauty of knowing yeah, the laws. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> then you get when you get into trouble, you will not listen to Mahamon. So Mahamon will read constitution. Mingi take a name. So Mahamon, take a name. So Mahamon, take a name. So Mahamon, take a name. So if a person is arrested, mm -hmm. the, the issue of arrest has to be in accordance with law. Mm -hmm. By virtue of our constitution, a person can only be arrested in two instances. Mm -hmm. When there is reasonable suspicion, mm -hmm. a person is about to commit an offense. Or a person has committed an offense mm -hmm. and it has to be under a reasonable suspicion. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be mere suspicion. Kill a rascal or a It does not work like that. Mm -hmm. And if you are arrested by the police, the best they can do is to take you to the police station and charge you for the offense you have committed. Mm -hmm. And in the process of charging you that offense, they must tell you the offense that you have committed in the language you understand. And Mandelo yeah. Rafael Lona. Aha. Uh -huh. Parce que dit ñen surtout police. Exact. Da nga da nga da nga dem arrest nit sama ne loluma def ngene mané té ngene ko né té jé sa gémé nga ñu fi am aha ci nit. Wala mo la la ka angalé té dégg lo ko. Légui ñu ni discriminatory. Nga arrest ma nga ma wax né li la li la la arrester in a language that I don't understand. So I believe that the draft constitution tafa it's really going to help the it's people. Really good. It has clearly stated it. You when you are arresting the person make sure you uh, give the reasons why you arrested that person mm -hmm. in the language he or she understands. Mm -hmm. if, if it doesn't stop there, after explaining the language he or she understands for the offense he, he is allowed to have commit, mm -hmm. then you must also inform him you have the right to defense. Mm -hmm. And he also have the right to be silent. Mm -hmm. But you make it very clear that whatsoever he said will be recorded. Yes. And it can be used against him in a court of law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is confession. He can f confess before the court, he can also confess before the, the, the police. Mm -hmm. That is what we call judicial confession and non judicial confession. Mm -hmm. So if that is done, then if you are a minor, ask for a draft condition, yes. then you should be ha given access to a lawyer, legal aid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, not every lawyer, a lawyer of your choice. Lawyer. Okay. Buba, yeah, Buba has been very quiet. We would <laughs> like to get your take on the topic. You are censoring me. It's so good, but it's beautiful. Let's go. Exactly. Yeah. He and, and is just hungry. That Don't just, forget yeah, that he's um, a body bunker. When he just, starts speaking, he goes off. That is just about um, to, uh, the draft condition. They are very careful about dignity and integrity of a person. Mm -hmm. That is just geared towards the prison. You know, under the law, everyone is presumed innocent, still proven guilty. Guilty. Mm -hmm. So that presumption is, is, is what guides proceedings. Mm -hmm. And because that presumption guarantees integrity and dignity of a person, mm -hmm. so you cannot assume he is guilty. Mm -hmm. You treat him with dignity and respect. Mm -hmm. So long as he is innocent. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, what about the duration of the time that comes in the RSA? Nyata dir nge neke sebir selbe wala yo itamit diwa kagunchi. Nenyi wakti bobo wala. Wow, wow. Uh, unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, the law has made it very clear. Uh, by value of the draft, uh, the 1997 condition, Mm -hmm. um, if a person is, uh, is arrested, mm -hmm. you should be arranged before a court before 72 hours, mm -hmm. which, is equal, uh, which is three days. Mm -hmm. But as for the draft condition, they say if a person is arrested during working days, mm -hmm. the person should be arranged before a court before 24 hours, sorry, 48 hours, 48 hours mm -hmm. yeah. which is two days. Which is two days. Mm -hmm. So in the event you were arrested on Friday, mm -hmm. when the court says on half of the close, mm -hmm. then they have to wait till Monday, which is three days. So this is the exception to that. Mana. But it is just jihad was speedy trial because people cannot be detained in my mm -hmm. awaiting trial, you know, yeah. just to be like that because they're trying to make everything fast. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's listen to Masha. Buba's opinion because I know he ha he's accumulating so many thoughts in him right <laughs> now. <laughs> Let's hear the thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, I just have a problem with some of the uh, serious underlying conditions that are attached to this issue. One, uh, I think uh, the way arrests have been done in this country kills the, the spirit of uh, and the concept 
of a uh, piece of some of innocence until proven guilty. Uh, no, and the conditions also, that are no, around it. Yeah. No, no, and also uh, what I want to put there is uh, is also uh, is this is the same reason why you know I hate this mutual campaign led by yep. this women feminist stuff because because what it does is for example uh, in this country we have seen people who are accused of rape for example and before before one hour goes you see everyone treating this guy like a criminal mm -hmm. right without hearing his side of the story. And the law says innocent but before proven guilty. Mm -hmm. So when the person, you, you hear someone has raped someone, just don't just go and uh, accuse the person of being guilty. You yeah. have, it has to stay and, innocent. And the part just trickle in. And, and, and that's the test of ignorance. Good. And also the part when, when, when you had anything, mm -hmm. if you give a judgment without hearing from both parties, that is, yeah. then that's so the level of illiteracy. And the part, two, the mm -hmm. part two of what I want to say just trickle in my head. Uh, <laughs> it's a, it's, it, it has to do with the security sector reform. Right? Uh, this thing, I think it has to do with the behavior of our security personnel. Right? Uh, according to the testimonies from the TRRC, uh, we have seen how the securities, you know, handle the accused persons. They've been heavy handedly handled by our security so, yeah. people. Mm -hmm. some, some people are just accused and they are innocent. Like you can, they, they've mistaken people of their border. For example, I, I did a crime and they say, oh my, they thought it was me beating me before you know that it was not me. Yeah. I was already dead. That had yeah. happened in this country. So for me, I think uh, we should push the government to move on with their security sector reform so that we don't see such scenarios in this country. Yeah, I believe that we should definitely get to know our laws so that we don't let any, mm -hmm. you know, security personnel to run over us because we know our rights and let's exercise it. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, that brings us to the end of today's uh, episode on the morning show Banju. I hope you guys enjoy the conversation and we shall continue this conversation in our comment section down below here on YouTube and also on our Facebook page. Please uh, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, like the video and make sure you share the video with your friends and families and give us thoughts and suggested topics about this video down in a comment section below. Until next time, this has been the morning show Banjo. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.